Wanna know one of the worst things ever? Breaking in new shoes. I love Converse. But my feet be hurting. <laughs> Thursday. I, I'm sorry if I look tremendously tired. Um, I did not get home till 2 in the morning because I was at work doing inventory. So yeah, and then I got woken up at 8 o'clock by noisy neighbors who walk like they're, no, like they're elephants. I just, I don't know. So yeah, I'm heading to school at the halfway point. Three more weeks, and then I'm done with college forever. About time, huh? Yeah. And then uh, today marks 60 days till I go to California. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, it doesn't look it look it right now, but I'm so excited. Like I'm obsessively planning this trip. So I'm sitting at a stoplight, and the concept occurred to me as I've been watching YouTube videos. Um, all morning, because usually Thursdays they come out. Um, one of them is about a girl who's in her 20s and recording her life. And I thought, like, why, why are 20s such an ample time to document your life? Like, why the 20s? Like, is it because it's before, you know, society says you have to get married? Or, you know, settle down? Like, you're, it's like your 20s, you have to party. In your 30s, you have to settle down. Like, why? I, I don't know. I just never understood, like, why, you know, everybody says your life's over at, you know, when you're 30. Like, I'm two years away from 30. I'm 28, if you haven't known. I'm two years away from 30, and I just don't... I don't feel like, you know, I need to settle down yet. Like, I want to travel. I want to do all this stuff. Maybe it's just because I'm very independent. Like, I don't... I don't feel the need to get married so quickly as other people's do. People's word. Um, I don't know, I just, maybe I'm just different, but I just feel like I don't need to settle down the minute I reach 30. Like, my life's not gonna end when I hit 30. At least I hope it doesn't. Yes! Score! Another parking spot right outside my building. <laughs> I'm really sad that that excites me, but that excited me. I like saw it, I'm like, yes, yep. That's why I'm single. So I'm sitting here listening to the new Cash song, which I love, by the way. But she says the word chucking deuces. Can we talk about the concept of chucking deuces? He's chucking. I mean, I know what it is, but it amazes me what people come up with. The word chucking deuces. Like, <laughs> I mean, I know what it is. It's like doing that or something. <laughs> it's just, it's funny that a peace sign has turned into chucking deuces. Like something that used to equal, you know, Peace and free love is now a gangster symbol of chucking deuces. God bless America and the youth of today. Okay, I gotta be quiet because as you can tell, I'm at Barnes and Noble. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm at Barnes and Noble. Literally my favorite place in the world. Like I can spend hours in here, which probably means I'm gonna end up being a librarian.
What is psychology? Recovery. Love and sex and relationships. So does that mean all of that is art? <laughs> Love and sex is art. Relationships are art. It's artistic to have an addiction. And then you think about it. And then you eat your feelings. And then you lose weight with your eating your feelings. This is why I'm an artist. I wish I could show you this from the side. But you know you've reached out in Compton because this is a ghetto ass car sitting on some like 2400s. I swear to God, if it starts hydraulicing, I'm gonna bust out laughing. I wish my car can hydraulic. My <laughs> little Hyundai. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I'd do it. Shoot. That cloud does not look happy. That is not a happy cloud. It's about to get real wet up in here. As I sit here waiting for Princess Peter to hurry up, <sighs> That's me in his house, and he's still not here. Oh yeah, I'm at Pete's. Waiting for him to come back. So you get to meet Daisy. Daisy's the cutest little puppy. Although, she a bit a hole in my phone case. She's a puppy. I can't be mad at her. Yeah. Then we're going to Taco Bus tonight. <laughs> taco Bus. Go up the stairs, Daisy. Oh, she's so little. She's like, I'm tired of this shit. Like, come get me. I'm tired. Good girl. Wait, there's spousal abuse going on. There's. Ow! Motherfucker! Oh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Somebody just hit my tattoo. There's a lot of ass faking going on. I don't like this. Let's go. <laughs> You're the one that put it in there. Oh yeah, I did put it in there. Can we talk about what's going on in your house? Who wants to see me vape? Uh, lice. Ew. Nasty ass. <laughs> no, check it out, check it out. This is, no, no, check it out. This is kind we of came tonight to get lucky. We came Aim downwards or look downwards. So if you go straight down. So let's do the thing. What is going on with your boyfriend? He's like smoke from a... Uh, <laughs> no, anymore. <laughs> anymore. I feel like you should rap. You should rap right now. Time for turtles. I'm way too white to rap. So be Beastie Vanilla Ice. Beastie Boys. I might just... <laughs> that Beastie just happened. Boys? Did someone say Beastie Boys? That girlish voice just happened. We were talking about the Beastie Boys. What was that that just came out of your mouth? That's my scream. Has she ever made you make that noise? I don't want to talk about that story anymore. That's gross. Not yet. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Is this gonna go on your <laughs> Is this gonna go on your thing? Yes. Alright. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it. Molded by it. Okay, speed it up. By the time I saw the light, I was already a man. And by then, it was nothing more to me than blinding. Alright, that was boring. I thought it was going to be funnier. What? You, you don't understand. It's an inside joke. What up? Hey, what's up? What am I? What am I? <laughs> Say goodnight, everyone. Catch Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Catch me.